Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so um, here in red is how we define the determinant for any n by n matrix. And in this video, I'm going to show you that this definition is consistent with the formula I gave in a different video for a two by two determinant with entries A, B, C, D. We said that for a two by two written in this way, that the determinant is equal to A times D minus B times C. And in this video, I'm going to show you that uh, the definition of um, the determinant for any n by n here um, will lead us to exactly that formula. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So first of all, our situation is a two by two, so n is two. And uh, because I've gone through uh, this definition in great detail and I've used it in many videos, uh, it's got its own video. Um, I'm not going to talk about it at length here, but you should know that based on this definition, we have to fix a column, right? And so let's get fancy and fix the second column. So I'm saying that we have to let J be equal to one in this uh, equation in red here at the top. Yeah, okay, so then uh, in our particular case, N is two and we fixed the second column. So J is also two. And so we've got that the determinant of A is going to equal for this matrix A is going to equal uh, the sum from I equals one to two and it's negative one to the I uh, plus two uh, and then times uh, A I two and then times uh, the determinant of uh, A I two bar. Ah, sorry, that's A I two bar. Even though it's like kind of sitting on top of the, that darker background, there's an I two right there. A I two bar. Okay, okay, okay. You got it, you got it. Okay, cool. So now applying this formula, which we've again adopted to our situation from the general um, formula, uh, we see that the determinant of our matrix A is going to be uh, the following. And I'm going to need the space, so I'm going to start writing right here. So um, when we let I equal 1, we'll have negative 1 to the uh, 1 plus 2 power. And then it's A, uh, 1, 2. And then it's, it's going to be the determinant of uh, a12 uh, bar and then uh, when we interpret sigma meaning add and go on to i equals 2 um, we'll be able to write negative 1 to the 2 plus 2 power and then a22 times the determinant of uh, a22 bar now um, first uh, negative 1 to the third power which is what this says will just mean negative 1 so we'll have negative 1 times a12 and A12 is B, right? A12 is B, so we've got negative B, and then times the determinant of um, how we get AIJ bar, which is what's there in general, is stated right here. But yeah, um, for uh, the specific case of A12 bar, what we have to do is um, cross out the row and column containing A12, so that just leaves us a one by one matrix with a single entry of C. So here, we're gonna have determinant of a one by one matrix with just the entry C in it. Got it. And then we'll have plus, uh, it's gonna be negative one to the fourth power, so that's positive. Um, so that's positive one. A positive one times A22. A22 is D, so we just have positive one times D. So that's gonna be D times the determinant of A22 bar. So D times the determinant of A22 bar. But what's A22 bar? A22 bar is going to be, um, the matrix that we get and the one by one matrix at that that we get when we cross out the row and column containing a22 and so that's just uh, the one by one matrix with a single entry of a so there we are so we've got determinant of a and now uh, the determinant of a one by one matrix is just the value of that single entry so here we'll have negative b times c and then we'll have plus a times d which we can rewrite um, as it's got better ring to it as AD minus BC. Yeah, cool. All right This is what I claimed was uh, the determinant of this and uh, my video on two by two determinants and we just proved it Yeah, cool. All right. Keep watching and take care